These two teams also met the Eastern Conference Finals back in 2020 in the bubble. The Heat winning that series in six games to advance to the NBA Finals. Another, you know, extremely physical team, obviously really well coached. Uh, you know, we played them two years ago in the Conference Finals. Uh, so just looking forward to it, you know, excited. Uh, being back in this position and, you know, trying to get over this hump. They have a lot of toughness on that team and they actually they shoot the ball well. So um, we'll have to be able to lock in and focus in on their on our game plan against them in this game and we'll watch some of their film they had this past series against Philly. So um, it's just going to be exciting to be able to kind of run it back against them. Robert Williams did not play this afternoon, but was available to come off the bench if needed. Celtics big man has been nursing a sore left knee. That's the same knee he had surgery on in late March. It's expected that Williams will be able to play in game one Tuesday against the Heat. With us now for the Boston Sports Journal and, of course, the Locked On Celtics podcast, John Corrales. And, John, you called it before the game. You said that Grant Williams had to step up. I asked you one guy not named Tatum or Brown that was going to have a big game and win it for the Celtics. You said Grant. But did you think Grant went out score Tatum, Brown, Giannis, and Holiday? Totally. I mean, isn't, isn't that exactly what I said? Uh, yeah, no, uh, Grant was amazing, and you knew that Grant was going to get back on track because this is kind of how Grant's season has gone. He, he obviously had had a great shooting year from three, and then he's gone into lulls before, and he almost kind of shot his way out of a slump during the game. Right, because he hit the first basket of the game, a three-pointer. Then I had him two for seven yeah. at one point, and they were leaving him wide open, and he was taking it. And we just, I just came in there from uh, Ime, and he said, I told him to let, him, let it fly because they were disrespectful respecting you more than usual. This is the Milwaukee Bucks defense. They will dare certain people to shoot. They want to hold down the lane. They want to close down the lanes to the rim, keep Tatum from going to the rim, keep Brown from going to the rim. So somebody was going to be open. And that's why the drive and kick was always so important during the season. Grant finally got a lot of those drive and kicks. He settled down. He hit a few of those threes. After the first quarter, when things were cold for Boston, it was just boom, 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 one three after another, and just too much for Milwaukee to handle. You know, Milwaukee tanked that final game of the season where the Celtics played for the two seed. I thought that was so big today because you talked about it before the game. There was not a lot of time between games. This is an afternoon game. They played Friday night. They fed off the energy of this crowd, which was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, what I say before the game is the physicality, yeah gets you in, in these games like this. The Celtics and Bucks were just pounding each other. It was basically like two groups of linemen just going at it over and over and over. Yeah, so what happens, you, you start to wear down when you're not at home, when you don't have that crowd behind you, it just starts to wear down on you a little bit. And the key to getting past it, it's all mental because all of these guys are as beat up as anybody, right? They're all equally tired. But that mental aspect of being at home, seeing that crowd, turning around after you hit a big shot, and having that energy flow into you gives you that adrenaline rush. That's the difference between making a play and not making a play. All right, let's talk about Miami. The Celtics uh, actually do not have home court advantage mm -hmm. uh, in this series. And, you know, Miami has a big guy that can play. Bam can play. They got Jimmy Butler as well. And they can hit the three. They can hit the three. That's going to be the biggest thing. Uh, what they don't have, though, is the elite score. Jimmy Butler can get hot. He can get going. You know, he's got that mentality for sure. Closer for sure. And they're a tough defensive team. But they're not as tough as Milwaukee. And I think what we're going to see against Miami is a little bit more freedom to move. A little bit more freedom to get to the basket. And if they can keep the three-point shooters in check. If you keep Tyler Harrow in check, then you can keep that entire Miami offense in check because he's the guy that can create some things. And if you can kind of control him, then I think the Celtics have a much better offense than Miami's offense. And I think they have a better defense than Miami's defense. He may have done a great job these first two series. He really has, especially considering he's a first-year coach. He outcoached both uh, his opponents in this game, uh, in these two series. Now he goes against the best, mm -hmm. Eric Spoltra, who outcoached Brad Stevens mm -hmm. in the conference finals a couple years ago. That's a fact. Got to get ready for 
creative defense. They're going to throw zones. They're going to throw different kinds of zones. It's kind of sort of playing like the Toronto Raptors and Nick Nurse. They'll, they'll throw any kind of junk defense at you that they can because their whole thing is just win each game. Each game is, the, is its own story in the playoffs, and you just got to junk it up as much as you can against Boston. So you got to get creative about how do you counter certain things? How do you find ways to score? And I think you're just going to see more shooting being important because they're going to try to do what Milwaukee did about cutting off lanes to the basket as best they can. Question is, are they going to be able to do it as effectively? I think the Celtics are going to be able to get to the rim against Miami. I think I've said no matter how this game seven went, I picked this team, yeah, this the winner of this series, to, to go to the finals. Right. And I'm, I'm sticking by that. John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal, Locked On Celtics Podcast. John, thank you. You got it. All right, I'll be heading to Miami with the Celtics.